Welcome to Instant AdSense Templates VRE Building System. This is Eric Holmlund, and I'm going to show you how to use the PHP BB forum templates that came with the package. First of all, in case you're not familiar with PHP BB, or if you have any questions about it, you can go to phpbb.com, and they actually offer free support for the program. It's a free program, it's open source, and then they also offer free support. So just click on support. And then uh, one nice thing is they've got Flash Tutorials. You can click on that. They've got uh, tutorials for installing it, configuring it, managing it, all that stuff. And if that doesn't answer your questions, um, they've also got uh, forums, knowledge base. Uh, you can even submit a ticket. So they've got lots of resources there available for you. Uh, the easiest way to install is if you happen to have cPanel. Um, if you have uh, Fantastico, you can go down to Fantastico and install it through there. That's probably your best bet. Or uh, if you see something like this that says Bulletin Board, you can click on Bulletin Board. And then uh, basically just enter three little pieces of information, username, password, and where you want it to be. And then uh, click to install it. That's about it. Once you've installed it, you should have something that looks kind of like this. This is their basic uh, skin, the installation. And once you've got it installed and you see something like this, then you're ready to upload your new theme. Once again, for this demonstration, let's use the bicycles template. So look for the PHP BB template. Open that. And first of all, look in the docs. This is your instructions. Open up the readme file. And you can go ahead and take a look at this, read through it, make sure you know what you're doing. The most important thing, of course, is to put your AdSense ID in there as usual. And you'll see there are two files that need to be customized, the overall header template and the overall footer template file. And once again, you're going to search for your ID here and, place it and replace it with your real ID. So let's go ahead and find those two files. Again, look in the IATBB directory. That's the name of the of our uh, PHPBB template. <laughs> okay, so we've got the overall header. Let's sort this alphabetically. We've got the overall header and the overall footer that we need to change. And you can open those in uh, Notepad. In case this happens to you, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens. Uh, you can say use the web service to find the appropriate program. Actually, no. Select the program from a list is what you want to do. So select program from a list. OK. And then uh, recommended programs is Notepad. If it doesn't say recommended, um, scroll down and find Notepad and select it. But that's basically what you want to do. Double click that or else click OK. And it will go ahead and open it up in Notepad. And just like we always do, we're going to search for your ID here and replace it with your AdSense ID. So we'll go ahead and do Edit, Replace, and we're going to replace your ID here with the real number. Replace all. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing. That was the overall header. Save it. Then do the same thing in the overall footer. Open it with Notepad. And let's do a replace. Okay, so we should be good to go. Next is to upload it using an FTP client. I happen to use Smart FTP, which is a free one. And I did this test installation in a directory called Forum 4. If you did it within your root directory of your domain, just look for the templates directory within the forum installation. Otherwise, navigate to the forum installation and then look for the templates directory. Open that up, and you should see something that says SubSilver. That's the default template that comes with PHPBB when you install it. So remember this right here. That This is the SubSilver skin is what they call it. You can call it a skin or a theme or a template. And so our PHP BB template is called IAT BB. So we're going to drag and drop that into the templates directory. 
and there's a whole bunch of files. Basically, just wait a couple of minutes for that to finish uploading. Okay, so once it's done uploading, you're going to go back to the location where you installed that forum, and you're going to go ahead and log in as the admin. And then once you log in as the admin, you should see a link down here at the bottom that says go to administration panel. So you can go ahead and click that, and then it's going to ask you to re-authenticate yourself. Go ahead and log into the admin panel, and it's going to bring you to the admin panel. First thing you're going to do is scroll down here on the left-hand side to where it says Styles Admin and click on Add. And it should recognize that you just uploaded a new template. So where it says IATBB, just click Install. It says Selected Theme has been installed successfully. Perfect. Okay, next we want to go to where it says General Admin Configuration. So click on Configuration. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit here to where it says default style sub silver. And we're going to select from the drop down menu our new template. And then where it says override user style, select yes. And then just scroll down and save it and you should be good to go now let's go back and look at our forum and as you can see our installation was successful we now have a PHP BB forum with the theme of our bicycles template and you've got the navigation here for the for the forum you've got AdSense ads um, the correct topic isn't showing up yet because we don't have any keywords uh, on the forum, it's, we didn't we didn't name it bicycles or anything like that. But you'd want to go back into the configuration and name it, uh, you know, bicycles or something like that. Um, we've got more AdSense ads, link units down here, and you can see these are all showing up, even though we haven't you know added any content to it. But a forum is a great way to have user generated content and interaction be a part of your website. Again, this is about building you know, a valuable user experience. And if they can come to a place where they can get other people's opinions or where they can express themselves or interact or, you know, tell jokes or whatever it happens to be, that's going to be a website that they're going to be more likely to come back to again. And by monetizing it through AdSense or through other revenue streams, you know, you're building yourself a piece of virtual real estate that can make money for the long term. I've got, I know plenty of people in this business who have forums, and they make money from their forums month after month after month because a forum is something that once it gets going, it usually keeps going for quite a while. In fact, um, you know they can be virtually endless once you get a, a certain level of participation. It becomes a part of those people's lives, and that's really what you want to shoot for as you develop your forums. You know, Go for value. Make it something real. To get it started... You might have to go in there and uh, you know do a couple of test posts. Go in there and, and create a couple of usernames. And I think Joel even talks about this in his book. But create a couple of usernames and start up a conversation with yourself. It's okay. We know you're not schizophrenic. It's just a matter of getting the ball rolling. Uh, you know, just priming the pump. And once people see that that interaction is taking place, they're going to want to chime in and join the conversation. So give it a shot. Hope you enjoy uh, creating your forum. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.